it's good to praise God in the house of the Lord. Go ahead and have a seat. We've got something special for you today. Well, it is Mother's Day. Let's try again. It is Mother's Day. Oh, man, I love Mother's Day. Moms are awesome. We were talking about this uh, a couple weeks ago, um, back before Easter. We were talking about Good Friday. Colin and Galen were running that, um, running that service, and they said something about one of the last words of Jesus, and he was talking about his mom. As he's hanging on the cross, he thinks to himself, and all the things that are going on, all the, he's got the whole world on his shoulders. He's thinking about from the beginning of time, he knew he came to this moment, this time to do this to save us all, and he stopped in that moment under great pain as he faced death, and he thought about his mom, and he thought about taking care of her, and that he would be gone and not be able to do that, and it really hit me in a fresh way because most of you know, about two years ago, I was diagnosed with stage four colon cancer. I've gone through lots of things, chemo, radiation, and whatnot. I forgot to tell people last service, everything is looking great right now, so hallelujah to God. But I just wanted to give you guys an update about that. But during that time, as I had some really tough times before, right before surgery or, or when uh, the outcome didn't look good or things didn't go the way, and I was faced with that really kind of realization that who's going to take care of my wife, the mother of my children? Who's going to take care of my mom if something happened. I'm the oldest son, so I would, you know, I assume my whole life that that would be my role is to take care of my mom. And so I just looked at it with a fresh, fresh thought. Because these, these women in our lives, these mother figures, are really important. They're important to me. And in that moment, I really thought about the women in my life who have been such an encouragement to me. My grandmother, she was here at the first service, and she when no one believed me, when no one took me seriously, and I said I wanted to play guitar, she bought me a guitar, my first guitar. And it's just I wouldn't be the same without, I wouldn't be leading worship without, today, without her taking that step in my life and doing that. My aunt, my wonderful aunt who, who helped uh, a lot of times take care of my brother and I, my mom was working a little bit when we were younger. I remember my aunt used to say, uh, she told me when I was older, because I always got caught. She'd always catch me when I was doing something bad, always. And I said, how did you know? And she goes, oh, that's easy. You're quiet. You're doing something wrong. This whole time I couldn't get in the way with stuff if I was being loud. And then my mother, my wonderful mother, was given the opportunity to raise two ADHD children. She chose not to become overwhelmed and to let that define her life, but instead she learned and read books and studied the Word of God and met other people who were wiser than her to help raise godly men in that tough situation. I remember my mom, she was trying all sorts of things. One of them did not work very well. She heard somewhere that if you surprise a kid, they'll tell you their honest reaction right away. They won't think about it. They'll just respond. So we're driving down the freeway. I'm driving. I was 16 just driving and all of a sudden she's like Andy do you do drugs we almost crashed it was close she wanted to get a real answer out of me my mom just desired to know what was going on in her son's life and was willing to even make a fool out of herself and maybe even crash the car to, to get the truth from her son and then of course my lovely bride Alyssa the mother of our three beautiful children. I remember our first date, she said to me, and one of the things she said was, I'm really excited to be a mom. And I was like, that is cool. Because that's my heart too, is to raise kids, to know and love Jesus. And then obviously my solid rock in my life during the last two years, my wife, through thick and thin, has been beside me every moment of every day. And so these wonderful women, these wonderful encouragements to my life, mother figures in my life, have always pointed me to Christ, have always pointed me to become the kind of man that honors Christ, that I want to be. And so I want to do a song that really spoke to that, that spoke to the kind of man, the kind of human I want to be. 
because these women in my life challenged me to be that kind of man.
holy as it is. 